Com. And with all the heat, so many people trying to go to the beach, but not everyone can, Katie. Yeah, absolutely. So those cooling centers and pools in the more inland areas are definitely important to help people cool off a little bit because the worst of the heat is actually yet to come here. Next couple days, especially Thursday, are expected to be very warm, although we were hot and muggy today as well. Taking a look outside in North Situate right now, weather-wise conditions outside of the heat have been very nice today. No clouds in the skies, lots of sunshine, but no clouds has been contributing to the increase in temperatures here and we'll continue to see those conditions over the next couple days. Again, just a couple tips with this heat continuing through the end of the work week, staying hydrated and staying cool, as well as making sure your pets have water and checking on your elderly neighbors are all important as heat exhaustion, heat related illnesses could be a factor as the heat advisory continues until Friday. Temperatures right now 87 still in Providence out towards Western Rhode Island. We're at 84 in Coventry, a little bit cooler down towards the coast, but still with those high dew points feeling warm. We're at 75 right now in Newport, but a little bit more bearable than temperatures we're seeing farther inland. The heat index values, though, especially northern Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, still into the 90s. And again, why we have that heat advisory in effect is with, with those heat index values could feel like close to 100 degrees over the next couple of days. So temperatures will start to drop, but we'll stay muggy this evening with above average overnight lows in the upper 60s, even as we head towards the pre dawn hours. And again, hot weather continuing Wednesday through Friday with that heat advisory in effect. We are tracking some potential relief, though, with late week thunderstorms Friday into Saturday, which will help aid in those temperatures lowering back down into the low 80s for the weekend. Threat tracker for tonight will be low, but then Wednesday and Friday during the daytime hours will be bumped up to medium the weekend, though, with that drop, more regulated temperatures will drop back down to low. Satellite and radar looking clear right now. Could see some clouds work their way in overnight with some partly cloudy conditions, but we'll be staying dry here. Overall, fairly quiet besides some thunderstorms that have popped up to our north and west. Not expecting any of those to impact our immediate area, though. And let's take a look at kind of the pattern that's set up here to contribute to our first potential heat wave of the season. What we call a heat dome is in place with a strong, in place rather, with a strong high pressure which will keep things dry and very warm over the next few days. In the meantime, though, as I mentioned, some clouds will work their way in staying dry, but those temperatures really won't drop all that much here. We'll see overnight lows even well into the overnight, still in the upper 60s, and this will allow for a quick warm up even as you're stepping out around 8 o'clock in the morning here, already at 80 degrees in Providence. And again, those highs very warm again around 90 as we head towards the afternoon with lots of sunshine contributing to that quick warm up. And again, your temperatures aren't going to drop all that much. We're seeing another night of high overnight lows in the upper 60s and low 70s. Wednesday morning here again, quick warm up to the mid 80s by around noontime will lead to those highs very warm again right around 90 degrees and let's take a look at that seven day forecast again kind of just the beginning here with today being the first day of hot weather that trend will continue through the rest of the week until Friday before some relief comes towards the weekend with the chance for some showers and thunderstorms we were outside doing the teas earlier and I feel like you jinxed us because you're like you know it's, it's not that bad out here we had a little fault. bit of a breeze <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it, it's but tough, it's, especially if you work outside, things like that. Yeah, and typically we don't see temperatures this warm this early in the season, so I'm sure it's thrown some people for a loop Take out there. Take the right precautions. Yes, All right, absolutely. Katie, thank you. Still ahead on 12 News at 5, some road work coming to Bristol County, Mass. What you